Hi everyone. So let's look at this question here. Another very good question. And more importantly, uh, the once we solve these questions, the concepts we'll be using in this question will be applicable to many or questions of algebra. Okay. So it's a master question uh, applicable to many such questions of algebra. So let's see the concept of this question here. Okay. What is the concept used behind such uh, questions? So basically, this uh, question says that if A, B, C are positive real numbers such that A plus B plus C equal to 13, then the maximum value of A, B plus B, C plus C, A plus A, B, C is what? See, now the equation like A, B plus B, C plus C, A plus A, B, C, this is called symmetric or cyclic equation. Okay, it is called symmetric or cyclic equation. Now, why it is called symmetric or cyclic equation? Because in these equations, if I interchange the variable, for example, if I replace A with B, if I replace B with C, and if I replace C with A, then my equation will not change. See, in this equation, if I replace, for example, let's say, for example, if I write here, AB plus BC plus CA plus ABC. So if I replace A with B, it becomes B, B with C, it becomes C, B with C, C with uh, A, Anna. then C with A, then A with B, A with B, B with C, and C with A. See, equation did not change, right? Anna, equation is equation remains same. This equation and this equation both are same, right? So this is called symmetric or cyclic equation. So what happens in symmetric or cyclic equation? Okay, so basically, when I equate all the variables in any symmetric or cyclic equation, when I equate all the variables, I will be getting extrema of that equation. Now, extrema means it could be maxima or it could be minima. Okay, that I need to check as per the question. We'll, I'll show you how to, show, how to check that. But when I equate all the variable in any cyclic equation, okay, I'll be getting extrema, that is maxima or minima, right? So here I need to find the maximum value of this equation. That is what equation is what a equation is. Uh, AB plus BC plus CA plus ABC, that maximum value I want. So first of all, what I'll be doing is, I wish this is, this is a cyclic equation. Okay, so what I'll do here, I'll just equate A equal to B equal to C, all will be 13 by three. Okay, so just I put, I'll put 13 by three here. So I'll be getting 13 by three into 13 by three, uh, plus 13 by three into 13 by three, plus 13 by three into 13 by three, plus ABC, that is 13 by three into 13 by three into 13 by three. Now, if I solve it, I'll be getting uh, here 169 by 9, and this is uh, into 3 times, so I can just make it into 3, okay, and plus 13 cube is 2197 divided by 27. Now, this will be cancelled 3 times, so I can take 27 as the LCM. Now, uh, 169 into 9 is 1521 plus 2197. This is equal to 2197 plus 1521 is 3718 upon 27. Ah, if I solve it, I'll be getting the value as, now it will cancel how many times? So 27, 135. So 137 times, a bit more than, a bit more than 0.5 here. So I can write 137.7 around, okay, six or seven like that, okay. So 137.7 roughly, kind of, okay, seven or eight you can put. It's, look, it's you can see that it's more than 5.5, 5, right? Okay. So it's around 137.7, this value, okay. Now, uh, if I if I try to put this 137.7, now, what is this? This is maximum or minimum. So I need to see here that this is maximum or minimum here, okay. I told we'll, get, we'll be getting extrema, that is maximum or minimum, right? So now see, let's see it is maximum or minimum. So I'll just change the value once, right? So let's for example, let's say I've taken all to be equal to 13 by 3. I've taken all to be very close, right? Now let's take the numbers a bit far. Uh, let's let's try to take these values. A equal to 1, B equal to 1, C equal to 11. It's still A, B, C are 13, right? Now let's check the values, okay? If I again check this equation, A, B plus B, C plus C, A, that is equal to 1 into 1 plus uh, 1 into 11 plus 11 into 1, okay? Plus A, B, C, that is... Uh, 1 into 1 into 11. So if I solve it, I'll be getting here 22 plus 1, 23 plus 7, 34. So I'll be getting, I'll, I'm getting 34 here. Okay, that basically means that I was searching for this 137.7. It is maximum or minimum. I'm searching for that, right? Hannah. So I when I changed the value, I saw that 
no there is some still minimum values available that is 34 is still available right that means this 137.7 is for sure the maximum value because whenever i equate variables in any cyclic equation i'll be getting maximum or minimum value i need to just check with the uh, by putting the values a bit here that is it is uh, maximum or minimum okay so once i check that i got that no at other set of values i'm getting 34 also that means 137.7 can't be the minimum value because for some values the values will be less than 137 also so that means it for sure it is maximum that means my answer is 137.7 around okay 7 or 8 roughly okay that should be the answer all of you got that funda right so the funda is basically in any symmetric or cyclic equation once i equate the variables i'll be getting extrema of that equation that is maxima or minima okay and this is how we check it further so many times in books and all or in any other uh, website it is written that directly you will put maxima or you find minima by equating no that's wrong right you get extrema okay that is maxima or minima okay so you, by putting the by equating variables you don't get maximum value okay so this is only half information uh, written many ways so i hope you got this okay thank you